What's going on YouTube? It's September 2nd, Friday, and we're gonna do another another mowing vlog. I'm just heading to the truck, making sure everything's fueled up. I should have did it the other day, but as some of you guys know, I was having equipment problems. So I'm gonna load up the trailer. The trailer is too small, I gotta leave my, my other mower behind again, but that's all right, we're gonna be using the zero turn, do most of the properties that way. So it's about 8.30 right now in the morning. Uh, I'm running a little behind today because I had to put my kids on the bus. School started once again. So I put my kids on the bus. Uh, I had to uh, eat some sandwiches, you know, some egg sandwiches the wife made me. They were very good. I had to eat some of those. So now we're uh, on our way to our first job. It's a couple towns over. It takes about 30 minutes to get over there with traffic, I don't know, where you go on the highway. And uh, hopefully we won't hit too much traffic and I'll take you along and maybe we'll get some good footage today. Jammed up in traffic. Well, I had to turn around because already I started going the wrong way. I had a customer who I told them that I would mow for them, you know, weekly if they needed it or they could stretch it out to bi-weekly at the most if the grass isn't growing because uh, sometimes, you know, the grass burns out, doesn't really grow. So the customer took my kindness for weakness and is now trying to get me there every three weeks when the grass is growing a lot. We've been having a lot of rain. And I mean, this grass is, you know, probably eight, 12 inches tall. And uh, I was giving her a good deal in the first place. You know, not, not real, real good deal. I'm not doing it for free, but I'm giving her a good deal. And um, so she wants to be there for three weeks to cut really tall grass. It's not gonna happen. Uh, you guys can have her, so. I dropped that customer. Um, I'm not putting the extra wear and tear on my machine just so a customer can save money when I'm already giving them a good deal. Uh, they think they can go every three weeks without a cut and that just can't happen. So they're gone. I had another customer who was uh, two months behind on their payments. Um, I finally ended up getting their payments over two months later. Went to the bank, deposited the payments, and let them know I am no longer working for them either. If you guys have customers and they're not treating you right, just get rid of them. It's gonna be a big headache for you guys. So, you know, don't take any crap. It's, it's your business, you run it the way you want. But don't get walked all over, um, you know. Ooh, I lost a couple bucks here and there. Big deal, you know? I mean, I'm not dealing with that. I'm trying to build my business so that eventually, you know, I have crews working and, you know, if I have crews working for me and stuff like that, the two months behind late payments aren't gonna happen. Now, some of you guys say, oh, late payments don't bother me, but let me put it this way. When you're cutting weekly or whatever for some accounts, and it's over $100 a week to cut, maybe three, four acres, whatever, or you're doing fertilization, and the customers don't wanna pay, that's over $1,000 uh, that they owe you for two months. So if you guys say it's no big deal, maybe it's no big deal, but to me, $1,000 is a big deal. I wanna make sure I get that money. So this customer is like one of my favorite customers. They always pay. Uh, they they always pay on time very nice people to deal with kind of a strange situation They have a shared driveway, so we're pulling into the driveway now There's a couple other houses that have the same driveway. It's like a gravel driveway uh, Let's see. There's one two. So three houses share one driveway I'm pulling up to the property now. I'm going to start trimming first 
and then uh, head out. So I just pulled in as the customer was pulling out. Here's the backyard, trampoline, pool. So I just finished this one up. Let's take a peek how she looks. Looking good. This is one of my favorite lawns because of the fertilization and how nice the, the lawn is. Let's take a peek and see how we did. A little crooked stripes today. Yeah, that's disappointing, but the lawn's looking good though. Yeah, I got crooked on that stripe. So here we go. Not my best work, but uh, looks pretty good. Not too shabby. On to the next one. Ghetto house ghetto neighborhood crappy lawn all weeds overgrown disgusting um, front yard can be pushed with a, a push mower but uh, i just wanted to tell you guys you know you got to stay humble and take on the small yards here's what the front yard looks like see push it push mow it with a 21 inch mower a little piece of junk i mean this house is real nasty and ghetto but you know what i used to live here less than a year ago actually so don't forget where you came from i used to uh take my truck and my trailer back it down into the driveway i used to uh pay my landlord extra money so that i could use the yard park my equipment in there so uh don't forget where you guys came from because you know what something can happen and uh if i get hurt or something and I can no longer run my business or you never know i could be right back here so uh, stay humble but this is what pushed me to uh better myself and you know to just run my business so it's nice to come back here and mow the lawn for my old landlord every once in a while all right so i pulled up to the other house i was about to cut and i looked at it and it was all browning out due to uh the full sun lack of rain so i'm just gonna skip that yard it didn't really grow and um i don't want to damage the yard i already cut it at three inches which is pretty tall it doesn't doesn't need to be cut don't be a lawn care scrub just to get the extra couple bucks if you go to a customer's house and it's really brown and doesn't need to be cut you know be honest with them and just tell them and uh don't do it so we're gonna head down to uh another house and I'll pick back up soon. So here's another yard I just finished. Here's the front of the house. Did a little edging. The customer requested that I edge the Belgium block. I don't know, I don't really like it, but that's my personal opinion. All this viney stuff over here I have to uh, just cut that all off of the top I sprayed some of this stuff here's the backyard it's a small yard put some stripes in it you know stripe what you can so, um, I don't know, I keep getting a memory card error on my GoPro. I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to shoot or if some clips even made it. So a lot of you guys were asking me why I have such a small trailer, a 5x10. And, um, you know, it's way too small for me, but I'm upgrading next season. At the beginning of next season, I'll have like a 18 foot, 7x18 trailer. Um, but to be honest with you, uh, one of the earlier clips where you saw where I used to live, you saw how I had to park my trailer in the backyard. Between the fence and the house, you know, I didn't have much room. So unfortunately, I was stuck with a 5x10 trailer. 
because of where I lived. I'm going up my driveway now, which I've been going up the driveway. I am blessed enough to have this area here. So you can see I have a turnaround area now and a spot for storage in my yard. Uh, it's a long gravel driveway that's cleared out. I actually have room to uh, back up the trailer now. And um, this is where I put, you know, the skid steer uh, when I need to use it or any other equipment gets put back here. I have a shed. So just to give you guys a little update on why I have a couple of mowers, but I can't take them with me at the same time, uh, unfortunately because of where I used to live, uh, that's why. I didn't have room for it. Now I do, and I'm going to be upgrading. I'm also going to be putting a plow on this truck, a stainless steel uh, eight and a half foot plow. And uh, you know, that's about it. Sorry if I didn't get to show all the video clips. I know my GoPro kept giving me uh, memory card errors not sure what that's about but I know some of you guys have complained about that in the past so I'm home now and um, I'll see you guys later thanks for watching